Well, hello. Come right on in. You're it, Father Fish. Nice to have you with us. All right. Oh, my goodness sakes. Massimo. 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 Even, even the name is contrived. Massimo. 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 Whatever. Uh, it's Moss Ball. They, they hail from a little village in northern Japan. Mind you, northern Japan. Not southern Japan, but northern Japan. And a very tiny, tiny village. A village of a population of maybe well under a thousand. And all of the houses in this village, all of the homes, sur are, are, are surrounding um, a lake. Actually, it's a big pond. Sort of lake status, because you got a hundred homes around it or so. But it's, it's this big pond surrounded by a village. The village, the village, people in their homes live all the way around. And these are a lemming-like sort of people who live a very, how shall I say it, a very routine lifestyle. At a certain time of the morning, everyone wakes up all at once. And they all gather at the front door of their little houses and they greet each other. Hello, hello, good morning, good morning, sucks of a day, hiya, all. They greet each other all around the village. And then, as a group, they walk down to the water's edge. And they stare into the water in front of them. They look deeply into it, peer into its depths if they're able. What are they looking for? You might ask. They're looking for their little Mossimos. Ah. And then they all stand up tall and begin walking together into the water <clears throat> and they reach down and they find a little moss ball and they roll it they roll it or maybe they find a brand new patch of moss and they roll it and they spend then the next hour to an hour and a half out there all around the edges of this pond roll rolling their little moss balls. And then as if they were one, they all stop, they turn and they smile at each other, turn around, walk back up to their, no, they have one more step. They walk to the water's edge, turn again and thank the water, thank the pond, and thank the algae. They then turn and walk back into their little homes for breakfast. And they have breakfast. Now, they do this all but one day of the year. On that one day of the year, they come out with great huge baskets. And they harvest all of these moss balls. They then take them to their village center, which is funny because you'd think the center would be in the middle of the pond, but it's not. It's down in back, this old building, sitting there, been there forever. All it gets used once a year, not a big deal. Go in there and they sort the moss balls into different sizes. And once they're done, 
they wait. And on this particular day of the year, a truck pulls in, a big truck, and it loads up all the moss balls and weighs them as they're being loaded. And then the truck driver writes a check. So does it give him cash? He gives them cash. They don't take checks. It gives them cash for all the moss balls. And they divide the money up all equally. Everyone gets the same share as everyone else. This is a communal village, you see. And that's it. That's it. And that's the true story, actually. It really does happen that way. These little balls are algae that the little Chinese, Japanese, Japanese people, Japanese, that the little Japanese people roll up into balls all the time, said to themselves, ha, 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 ha. we trick, we trick the Westerner. Ha, 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 ha. And these balls show up in all the shops. And, oh, oh, oh. Ooh, isn't that wonderful? Ooh, ooh, oh, ah, and they buy them, and they buy them, and they buy them. Ooh, and they take them home, and they put them in their tanks, and ooh, look, 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 how nice. Ooh, and then a little later down the road, the moss balls begin to creep, and before long, they have filled the tank with hairy algae, full of hairy algae. Ooh, turns to ooh, turns to oh, turns to ooh, turns to psh. And that's the story of the algae ball. Barna. <clears throat> Uh, against the flow, I had one of my goldfish ate it. Aha! Goldfish will eat about anything. Yeah, I dare say. I feed duckweed to goldfish almost exclusively, and they do eat algae. <coughs> hmm. Cold, windy lakes in Iceland also make algae balls. Interesting. Cold, windy lakes in Iceland. <coughs> now, that's curious, isn't it? They're probably dirty, though. They're dirty algae balls, I'll bet you. The Japanese algae balls, they're very clean. They're rather pristine, in fact, because they lift the ball up as they roll. So it doesn't get a big, muddy buildup. <clears throat> and if you peel it apart, you can actually find the layers where it's been rolled and rolled and rolled. Now, these things take time. you got to understand them. <coughs> this is a Tao undertaking. It is rather zen, if you will. Rolling moss balls is a meditative discipline, which done day after day, year after year, if only an hour a day, becomes an ingrained spiritual experience. So when we buy these moss balls, we're buying the spirituality of the experience of the little Japanese people rolling their moss balls. If we put it in our tank and we admire, we admire, oh my, how I love 
I've heard this. Help me. I don't carry mouse bones in my shop. We don't have mouse bones here. No, no, no. no. Uh, they love them. And then they come back. Oh, oh, I think my mouse ball is dying. Oh, why is that? Because it's all falling apart. And it's just becoming droopy. And it's filling the whole tank. Well, this is very simple. You need to do as the little Japanese people do. You need to roll your mouse ball. Keep it rolled nice and tight. And roll it every day for an hour. Roll your moss ball every day. And you will develop that same spiritual insight and wonder that the little Japanese people have developed rolling their moss balls every day. Isn't that wonderful? Wonderful. I love it. My eyes are falling out of my head. Eye drops. Lysine, the very thing. Oh, mercy. Lee's all upset about his broken teacup. <laughs> well, I hope you found something you've never seen before. Have a great day. I share it with us. Come on back.